and welcome back to tip of the week if you're thinking about painting your own aircraft you probably heard that it's easier if you paint the parts separately the major parts like the fuselage and then the wing for example this week we're at Viking aircraft where they're building the new Zenith super duty model and the fuselage is now ready for paint Let's look at what they have up their sleeve to make this operation easier. But even these components have their challenges. Their surfaces need to be prepped and then primed and painted. Who likes to do this work on their back in order to, to get to the bottom surfaces or on a ladder for the top surfaces? You can't do a great job if you're not in a comfortable position with a spray gun especially if you're not a pro at this stuff. What if there was an easy way to place your aircraft parts on a simple rotisserie so you could position those surfaces at just the right angle? This would make it easy for prepping. For example, if you wanted to complete an acid wash of all metal, including the interior, and have control over the position of all surfaces when performing this work. And of course, painting becomes much less a hassle when you can shoot in the direction you are most comfortable. You're going to do a better job when you have it your way. The challenge is to find a simple, effective means of supporting your fuselage so that it can be safely held and rotated. The trick is to use your engine mount as the means to attach a pivoting point. Your firewall and engine mount were designed to hold several hundred pounds of weight, so for most aircraft this should be an adequately strong location for the front. While there are many ways to do this, note that in our example a flat metal plate was used to mate with the engine mount. A thick plywood sheet would work here as well. The pivoting bearing was borrowed from a Harbor Freight engine stand and attached to this plate. While the front mount alone is not sufficient for most applications, here we show that in our case this Zenith fuselage had the strength to be lifted entirely at this one location. Uh, what we used in the front, we've got a metal scaffolding here that we just happen to have on this platform, so we use that. Uh, we have a, uh, an engine mount, or we could have used a temporary mount of some sort. Then we took one of our um, uh, brackets from the engine stand that we uh, bought from Harbor Freight, bolted that to the front of the airplane, uh, use a pin basically a pin through our steel um, thing here that we can pull and rotate and repin and that does the uh, uh, every eighth turn oh, this is uh, rotation so we can index it where we want it for painting and if we walk to the back here we see that we now are on uh, 45 where we can get to kind of uh, the inside bottom here we can get to uh, this this uh, side very easily on the back a little bit of a challenge to um, hang the airplane. We wanted to get a straight line going from here, obviously, to the front for the thing to pivot easy, and we'll show that in a second. But um, we were able to cut a 2x6 to fit nicely inside the back of the plane, then using deck screws at the strong locations through the uh, extrusion on the corners, and then we, we screwed a 2x4 to that. Uh, outside and we're able to make a triangulation out of plywood and some more 2x4s, a leftover piece of pipe and uh, a ladder that of course we, we screwed it down to the uh, floor in order for it not to move. So all in all it's, uh, it's a fairly robust uh, setup. Every aircraft fuselage model will require a unique solution for the rear attachment method but there is clearly a lot less weight at the tail end of most fuselages. It's coming forward. Yeah, it just came forward. Okay. 
Prepping and painting is now a much more enjoyable task. If painting outside, you can stand on either side of the fuselage in order to compensate for any wind issues that may be present. Considering that many will prime, paint, and paint another coat, you will get plenty of turns out of the structure. Especially if, if you do not paint for a living, shooting the gun in a comfortable position will yield final results that make this effort worthwhile. The fuselage is clearly the most difficult part for painting. Now we're left with the wings and the tail. Conquer those two and you have painted your entire aircraft. It can be done.